Hello, today we will be going over how to install Windows Server 2019 on VMware ESXi. So the first thing I am going to show you is where to get Windows Server 2019. You go to Google and you type download Windows Server 2019. That should take you to the Microsoft Windows Server 2019 Evaluation Center. Once you get there, if you notice, you have Server 2022, Server 2019. Um, you have a couple of other options. You have Windows Hyper-V Server 2019. You have Server 2016. And you also have Server 2012. So whichever version you're looking to install, the procedure or process is going to be similar. So at this point, you can download whichever one you have. Note that once you click on the ISO download and hit continue, it's going to have you enter some information. Once you are done, you click continue and that will let you download the ISO image. So once you do that you're going to log into your ESXi as root or whichever user you're going to use and once you log in then we will go ahead and start the installation so once you log into your VMware ESXi the first thing you want to do is go on here and select the option create or register a virtual machine or vm once you do that you are going to select the create the new virtual machine option and go next at this point we want to give it a name so we can call this virtual machine server zero one you can give it any name you like of course and you will select the guest os family for this tutorial, we're going to use Windows because we're trying to install Windows Server 2019. And when you do that, you want to also select the version of Microsoft Windows you're trying to install. The reason why you have you need to do this, or it's good for you to do this, is because once you get this selected, we'll notice as we go forward, um, VMware ESXi is going to give us um, it's going to set up our virtual machine to the recommended settings that Microsoft has put out there to be able to use that particular version of Windows we're using. So look at this kind of like selecting a template of the configuration you want. So we'll go with Server 2019 and I'm going to use the Windows virtualization, virtualization based security. Um, then we'll go next. Uh, I have three um, data stores that I configure for my ESXi. In your environment, it may be one or you may have multiple. Just select whichever you want to um, have your virtual machines, configuration files, and all this virtual disk saved in. And we'll go next. Once we get here, we can see what I just spoke about a couple of minutes ago. Uh, the ESXi has made a template of the configuration settings that Windows or Microsoft recommends. So we have two CPUs, we have four gigabytes of RAM and 90 gigabytes of hard drive. If you wanted to increase this, you can always change the settings. If you think 90 gigabyte is too much for what you wanted to use the server for or it's too small, you can adjust the changes that you want. The same for the RAM. You can change the RAM. And here you can select the network adapter for whichever one you have configured in your ESXi. And we are going to change the CD or DVD drive to, to um, data store ISO file because that's where I downloaded my um, Windows Server ISO file and stored it in. So we're going to have to select that. So when we first load up our virtual machine, we should be able to boot from that file in order to install the server um, 
2019. So we'll go next. And at this point, it wants us to confirm and make sure that everything we want configuration wise is correct. If not, you can always go back and change the settings, but everything looks correct. So I'm just going to go finish. So once you do that, at this point, you want to select the virtual machine that you just created and power it on. And once it comes on, make sure um, when it comes on, you want to make sure you hit the any key on your keyboard as quick as you can in order for um, the setup process or Windows to be able to boot from CD drive like the instructions ask us to. So now that our installation has started, the first thing we want to do is select our preferred language. Um, for me, it's English. You also want to select your time and currency format, which in my environment is still English and the same with your keyboard. So I'm just going to go with the defaults and go next and we'll press install. Note that at this point, you have to give it some time because depending on the speed of your virtual machine, it may take a couple of minutes as we go through the process. So now the Windows setup wants us to select the operating system we want to install. So we know we're installing Windows Server 2019. Do we want to install the standard version or the data center version? And we also notice that it has the desktop experience versions and just the regular versions. The only difference between the, the, the regular version and the desktop experience version is that if you read here in the descriptions, it says, the Windows Server installation without the desktop experience doesn't have a graphical user interface. So you're going to have to be doing everything from the command line or PowerShell. So, but for this tutorial, we're just going to use the desktop experience because we want to have a GUI and desktop. So in the future, we can be able to easily promote this server we're installing to be a domain controller. Not that you can't do that using PowerShell, you can, but we'll have to do that on another video. For now, we're doing the graphical user face install. So we'll go next. And then we'll accept the license. Make sure you read it. We'll select the custom install and we will select our um, hard disk or virtual disk that we created when we um, put in the settings for this virtual machine. And then at this point, you just have to give the installation process a couple of minutes. I'm going to pause the video here. And once it gets done with installing the files and installing the features and updates, I'm going to come back and we'll go through the rest of the process. At this point, once the installation is complete, um, your Windows Server VM is going to reboot a couple of times or just one time. Mine did re reboot just one time. And then we are going to continue with the setup process. Once the installation is complete, uh, Windows is going to bring us to um, customize our settings and create a password for our administrator, administrative user with the account administrator. So you're going to put in your most secure password here. And we'll go to finish. And Windows server installation is going to finish up the installation of the server and do all the configuration settings at this point and then it's going to take us to where we can log in onto our windows server virtual machine for the very first time once that's complete we can see that now our installation is done and we can always hit the um control out delete key to log into our windows server for the first time 
Um, if you remember the administrative account we created or the administrator account, it's just with the username administrator and we will input our password that we did create. And at this point, we are done installing our Windows Server 2019. So this brings us to the conclusion of this video on how to install Windows Server 2019 on VMware ESXi. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them down at the comment section below. And also, please subscribe to my channel and let me know down in the comments below if there's any other videos you'd like me to do in the future.